Welcome to the Mobi Control video series, and today we'll be discussing enrolling Windows Mobile and CE devices. So the first thing that we have to do is go to the Windows Mobile tab at the top left, and click on the Rules tab at the bottom. Right click on Add Devices Rule, and create Add Device Rule. You need to provide a descriptive name. So we'll be calling this Add Windows Mobile CE Devices. We click Next. Now we can choose which group we'd like to enroll our device. So I'm going to select my company. I'm going to click on Next. Now I have user authentication options. I can either have a password or no password at all. I'm just going to leave it as default, as no password. And just below it, we also have Certificate Authentication Authority, which is just the internal mobile control CA. So let's click on Next. Now I come to the Terms and Conditions window, and I can enable this, and I can manage terms and conditions that I can push to the device. I'm just going to leave it as default for now and click Next. Now I have a summary of the Add Device rule, show what I've done. You can click on the Advanced button to see any options that are available. Now if you require any assistance, you can always click on the Help button. We'll click on Finish, and now we'll get a pop-up saying to launch the Device Agent Manager. This is where we'll be creating our actual device agents for Windows Mobile and C devices. So we'll click on Launch Device Agent Manager. And now we'll get a window to create our agent. So we'll click on the button New Agent. We need to provide it a descriptive name for that agent. So for my device, it's an MC9596. And now I need to select the manufacturer that's associated with. In this case, this would be a Motorola device. So I need to look for the Motorola manufacturer. There it is, so I select it. Click on Next. Now I need to search for the model. Since I know it's an MC9596, I need to look for that specific model. So I can scroll down. As you can see, we have quite a few different devices here from Motorola. So now that I've found my actual device, when I click on it, I can actually see a skin of what it looks like. If it looks exactly like the device I have beside me, I'll click on Next. Now I have a couple options here to set up the device name. So you can either prompt the user to enter a device name, use device ID as a device name, or have a customized device name. By default, it uses Add Windows Mobile C from the Add Device rule and an auto num. I can also push down an initial package to the device upon the installation of this mobile control agent. If you require any more assistance on packages, you can click on the Help button. Click on Next. I have a couple more options here in terms of automatic deployment discovery, direct remote control connections, Stable storage folder, device identifier, list the agent in add and remove programs, deployment server, and set Windows device name. Now all of these can be clicked on to give you different options. So when I click on finish, I have my agent, it's built. Now the next step is actually provisioning this device, getting the agent onto the device. So what we need to do next is click on Provision Device button. And now I'll have a dialog box showing me three options. I have the self-extracting executable, the desktop-based self-extracting executable, and the device agent URL address. If you want more information on them, you can always click on the Help button. Today, we're actually going to use the device agent URL address. What this will do, it will pop up a message box with a URL where it can actually download the agent. You type in this URL in IE Explorer on the device, 
and it will download the agent. So let's look at this from the device perspective. Here we can see we have our device. So the first thing we need to look for is Internet Explorer. Once we click on Internet Explorer, we have to put in the URL that we got in the web console. So let's type that out. Click Enter, and we'll just wait for it to load. So now we want to click on Yes to proceed. Now it's going to begin downloading our OB Control agent. Now that this is done, next we have to navigate to the My Documents folder using File Explorer. So we'll just scroll down here and select File Explorer. Now let's look for our agent. So we'll scroll down. And now you see MC agent underscore 50. So just click on that and it's going to initiate the installation. So now we can actually go to the web console and actually see this device enrolled. To learn more, please contact a Sodi sales representative.